Since 1967, Rocky Mountain Development Council's Head Start program has provided free early childhood education and family advocacy services to the Helena area. The federal program is meant to serve children from a variety of situations, from families who are at or below the federal poverty level, to children in the foster care system, to children experiencing homelessness. But in Helena, the number of kids the program could serve is limited, not due to a lack of need, but due to a staffing shortage. It's really hard on families because we serve the population in our communities that maybe need it the most. This Head Start program has 176 slots for children, but right now they're operating at half of that because they just don't have enough teachers and teachers' aides. To be specific, they have 14 unfilled positions. It's what they call a child care crisis. If they can't fill those positions, Rocky could risk losing those slots permanently because staffing helps determine federal funding. Losing those spots would put stress on an already stressed industry. We're not going to have the capacity that we even have now, which is not even filling the full need. According to the most recent data from a June 2022 study, there are about 21,000 children in Montana who need childcare, but don't have access to it. But it is hard to get an exact measurement of the unmet need. It's hard because there's so many people that have made do. Made do by working opposite shifts, so someone is home with the kids, having extended family pitch in, or even having one person leave the workforce to stay home. Yeah, we've seen a lot of parents either forced out or because the cost of childcare is so high, it's cheaper for them to drop a, a job from one of the parents and stay home with the kids. That leaves some families the Rocky Head Start program could serve without options. So even if you qualify for the Best Beginning Scholarship through the state, you still may end up paying something, and that's more than most families can afford. For the Rocky Head Start program and others, the issue comes down to staffing. Child care providers have reduced their numbers or they're not opening at the rate they used to because there's no workforce. Some of the positions Rocky has listed have been open for years. It's been really hard. We have not gotten a good response. To stay competitive, Pena Larson said they've increased wages since the pandemic, and she said they're looking at another increase. They also offer benefits, including health and dental, and even tuition assistance for staff working toward field-related degrees. There are resources available to help people get into the child care industry as a provider or a teacher, like grants, training, and licensing help. There's kind of this army of us <laughs> that are ready to help and get people going. We just need the people to, to get going. If you want to apply for a position at the Rocky Head Start program, you can find the application on their website. And if you want help getting into the child care industry, check out Child Care Connections. We have links in this story on our website. In Helena, Marion Davidson, MTN News.